Hey guys, welcome to Batu. Oh, Batu at night. Batu at night. We're gonna do a full walking tour real fast because we have to get out of here because our reservations on the stuff. We're gonna do a full walking tour of the land right now, give you a feel of it at night. This is our first time here at night, so come along on the ride with us. So this is the first order area. Um, pretty similar, it's very bright. You get, this, you get a shot of the TIE Fighter. It's really, everything's, it's a lot of blues, reds, and oranges, would you say? Reds. It's reds? Yeah. You got the shop over there. Yeah, we can walk over there real quick. So when you walk in, this is one of the main entrances, you'll walk underneath this and if you go to your left, you'll see this giant TIE Fighter right away. And then the day, I mean maybe at night too, we haven't seen it, but they'll do performances in front of this where potentially Kylo Ren will come down, Stormtroopers will come down, a First Order officer will come down, and they'll basically play out a scene in front of you on the stage. It's super cool, um, and they'll be interactive with the audience even after that. It plays into how immersive Galaxy's Edge really is. Then, if you go over here, you've got First Order Depot. So this is where you can get... Let me wait for the announcement. Where you can get any sort of Stormtrooper paraphernalia, anything that's like, um, really just anything First Order. So they've got a full, you can see in the back, there's a full Stormtrooper outfit. Uh, it is, I believe, $6,000. <laughs> so Galaxy's Edge is not for... I mean, it's for everybody. You can get a little bit of everything, but occasionally there are some expensive items. Um, as we keep going on, we'll go this way. This will take us past the First Order area, and we'll start to end up closer to the cantina, which will be on our right. See, everything is, all the spires are colored up in like this bluish green. There's sort of like these spotlights all over the place. This is the line for the cantina. So we continue to go through. This is also, coincidentally, the cantina is the only place that we haven't actually been in yet. It's just been impossibly hard to get into if you're not there at the, like, right in the 8 a.m. session. Uh, it's very hard to get a reservation for the cantina. People taking pictures with their custom lightsabers. Again, just more buildings at night. A big thing about this that I didn't notice in the day as much is if you look up at the top there, a lot of the buildings have these inner, like, flashing lights that give it a lot more depth into things that are high in the sky. So, you can see the cantina entrance there, and the big reveal of the Falcon at night. What was kind of cool about Smuggler's Run when we went on it, once it shifted to uh, it darkness, was the ride actually reacts to that. So all of the cutscenes that are in the ride, just these little screens that are behind them, reflect the time of day it is. So if it's sunset, it's sunset. If it's night, it's night. It's really kind of cool. Falcon looks great at night. That's probably the best addition. And then if you're in a certain spot, you can actually see fireworks right from this thing over those uh, spires. It's really awesome. It's Falcon. Continue up the stairs here. To our left, you've got Doc Ondor's Den of Antiquities. This is a uh, Black Spire's gift shop, per se. And then we'll just go, before we go over there, we'll go to our right. This is Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. This is the one quick service sort of sit down restaurant in Galaxy's Edge. Uh, we ate here earlier today actually. You can look for other video that kind of talks about the menu items. And then as we continue to go this way, you sort of get the back side of Smuggler's Run. The nice thing is even in areas that are completely deserted like this, this is just a little back ramp that'll take you down to the entrance of Smuggler's Run. It's completely themed. Like back there, there's a beat up wall. They've got kind of got these tarps that go everything. And then even along there, you wouldn't see any of this unless you were over here. But there's just all these wires hanging down, transformers. It just looks legit. To our left, you see Doc's Den of Antiquities. Even, even now, almost 10 o'clock, it's still a massive line to get in there. Again, though, everything themed with the kind of bluish glow. The two at night. We'll take a turn right here, and this will take us into Ronto's Roasters, which is cleared out. 
Normally this place is booming in the day. Right now no one's in here. A little droid. This is a, uh, a pod racer cooker. So it's an old pod racer engine that's been converted into something that cooks these exotic beasts here. And over there is where you would pay at Rato's Roasters. So just kind of seating in general to the left here. Very simple. And then as we go down here, you'll see the marketplace. Now this looks, I mean it looks awesome. I'm seeing this for the first time now at night, but uh, it, it looks very similar to the daytime. Would you say this doesn't look uh, drastically different than the daytime version? The lighting in here is very bright. The only difference is it's not nearly as busy as it was before. Yes. This is where you can get all the small like, kind of street vendor shops. Um, you can see like race outfit over there. It's the only thing I've seen. Very cool. Up to the left you have the creature shop, and here there's a uh, animatronic loth cat. They also have another variety of animatronics along the ceiling. Everyone's huddled around the loft cat currently. See some restrooms here. Are these the ones that have like the DJ Rex playing? Or I didn't go on these ones. Yeah. These are the water fronts I was talking about. Very good. A little Easter egg here, a uh, creature pops up. It hasn't happened yet. Really needed to. One eternity later. This is such a disappointment that the Easter egg never popped up for us. There's supposed to be that thing from the garbage chute that Luke's in that sort of just like pops up. It never came. <laughs> Buttons on walls, lights on the restroom, tarps on the ceilings. The two at night is booming. Lightsabers in the streets. It's wild. Fortunately, there's Ray, but we're not supposed to be here. Hi, Ray. She's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's continue our night tour. It's gonna kill me in a second when I hear everybody cheer because we've been waiting for like 30 minutes for that thing to pop up. And at some point in the very near future, as I walk into the distance, we will hear a cheer and it will kill my soul. All right, so as we take a stroll, that was just finishing the marketplace. Oh, there's Ray again. We take a stroll to the left, you kind of get more picturesque Black Spire Outpost. That's where what? You land right over here in Star Tours. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, you're right. This is the. It's the only place on the land besides. I'm assuming in the cantina. That yeah. Is it DJ Rex that's playing? Well, anyway, they play music in this corner of Black Spire Outpost. We're gonna keep walking this way just for a second. 
and we'll head out through the resistance area. There's Ronto Roasters at night, uh, kind of an over overhead bridge. Here's some land speeders. What's really wild is on the other side of this is literally the train in Rivers of America. And this is where you land. Black Spire at night. This is the exact shot you land on in Star Tours. Alright, we're headed out. Even though, look at that killer shot. Goodbye, Black Spire Outpost. This is easily the most impressive, impressive spot in Black Spire. Lightsabers galore. Yep, let's walk out to the resistance base and that'll do it. Well, what do you think? Do you like, do you like Black Spire better at night or in, in the day? I don't know. They, they both have their own pros and cons. Okay. I, I think you can see more detail during the day, obviously. Yeah. I still think, for me, the big thing is it feels more real in the day. That's not to say it doesn't look real now, but it doesn't feel at, it feels more like Disney now because there's so many lights. But in the day, it feels like legit, like you forget you're in Disneyland. Oh, I gotta wait for that to focus. Looks too cool not to focus. Spires, as we leave Black Spire one last time. Are you gonna miss it? I'll be okay for a couple weeks. I just feel like the next time we come back, it's gonna be so different. I, I will miss it with the limited crowds. Cause even with the limited crowds, it is. Yep. It's so, um. I like that. It sounds like there's something. Rustling around in the bushes. I don't like that. I like it. It's like heavy footsteps. It sounds like Jurassic Park out there. Wrong park. Love it. This is great. It's the resistance supply. This is the last shot before you either the first when you enter or last when you leave. And then eventually this will all be Rise of the Resistance. So that's their big e-ticket attraction. And that will open uh, later this year, they said. They haven't actually even an official time date. It's the X-Wing at night. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> and also, there's an A-Wing right here. Not quite as lit up, but uh, still pretty cool. What's cool about it is like, it literally has like the landing gear down. Like they went all in. And then the future entry to Rise of the Resistance right over there. That'll be the last big ride. Probably our favorite ride. There's nothing wrong with Falcon, but look at it. There's waterfalls back there. You can't even see it, but just take our word for it. This is the line. There's waterfalls and caverns and it's gonna be wild as we continue to walk out. Thank you. We're gonna say goodbye. What is that? It's like footprints. 
kind of creature does that belong to? It's that kind of detail. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like a little like fox. Like, was that a legitimate animal or a? No, no. no. It's like you got these big. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a rhino thing. You see, like, an elephant. Alright, guys, well, thanks for watching on our night tour of Black Spire Outpost, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's been a long day. We are ready to hit the sack. <laughs> Hit the tiki room first. Hit the tiki. Oh, are we going to do that? We're going to hit the tiki room with, with confidence and, and persistence. I don't know. I'm tired. Or go home. Or go home. We'll figure it out in just moments. But thanks for traveling with us today. Thanks for exploring with us today. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to come on other adventures with us whenever we post one. So, until next time, we'll see you in the happy place.